Gary Archibald, Paramount Theater Director and Goldsboro Event Center Director, and I'm happy to have a guest here with me to talk about an event that is a little different here at the Paramount Theater. With me, uh, joining me is Dr. Matt Wilding. Hi. Dr. Wilding, it's so good to see you. <laughs> you as well. Thanks so much for coming and for your um, interest in what you are about to embark on here at the Paramount Theater. Um, actually, you've done this before at the theater. Yes. You've had a, yes, a, a, a health and wellness class, um, but yeah. we um, took a call from you and your staff recently and that you're interested in kind of uh, expanding how this will work and looking at optimal health and um, longevity. Yep. And so I'm going to ask you to talk a little bit about what that's going to mean to our viewers. And before you do, I want to make sure our viewers know this is for the general public. doesn't yes. have to just be for your patients. Um, exactly. You've got um, many patients I know in our community that, that seek chiropractic care out with you. Yep. But uh, they also, and I know this because I have many friends that go to see you, um, and I have also been to see you and mm -hmm. love not just the chiropractic care, mm -hmm. but the overall optimal care that you say, um, that you share, how you can take care of yourself for the longevity, for your lifetime. Yeah. Um, you look at the health and wellness and the food that you eat, um, the things that could cause um, allergic reactions or issues with your body, and so it's not just about one area, but knowing that there, there's so much more. That's right. Um, so I'm going to yeah. ask you to talk a little bit about these classes and yeah. and what people can expect. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that too. Uh, number one, that it's not just for my patients; it's it's to the open to the public, and I really view it uh, primarily as a community service. And so I'm doing it for an absolute minimal fee. And also, I'm not promoting my services or my products. I don't. Right. I'm not going to be promoting myself or anything like that. It's. Uh, it really, uh, people have been asking me to try to summarize the like the overall content, and it's really it's fairly large. It's going to be a, a really kind of a huge amount of information. But I I think of it as the information that everybody should have. That's the way that I think about it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a perpetual student, so I'm always learning. I'm always uh, doing continued education, and I like to gather that up and distill it and break it down into plain English and get it out there. I really feel it's almost a moral obligation for me to do that, and that's why I'm not going to be using it as a platform to promote my own uh, practice. Um, that said, a lot of the things that I do in practice, I, uh, this is where I get the information from to put those things in, uh, in terms of applications of information. But I really think that anybody who does the series is going to come away with uh, an incredible uh, and very useful amount of information. None of it is an original idea. All of it is gleaned from the uh, peer-reviewed medical literature. So I provide references for all of the things that, that I uh, present and all the data is there. And I break it down and I kind of show people how to um, apply it and kind of make it work for them, how to, how to apply it in daily life and really make it simple. Mm -hmm. It's not that hard and it's actually with the newer information over the last few years, those applications have gotten a lot e simpler. It's, it's pretty easy to do. You just have to know what to do. And it's been about four years since I've done a, a series like that on optimal health or wellness and nutrition. So I will be covering you know, supplements that I think, you know, everybody should have, uh, supplements that probably nobody should have, mm -hmm. uh, and cut through a lot of the confusion. Some of what prompted this is just the volume of questions that I've been getting in the last year or so uh, about information that people have found on the internet or heard in some other interview format or, or, a, or a TV talk show. So I'm spending a lot of time clarifying yeah. facts for people. So well, this we are getting stuff, you know, yeah, things yeah. are just coming at us in all kinds of directions. So I yeah. think yeah. they're probably, I can imagine the questions that you do get. Yeah, and I find when I go and I, and I look at where their information is coming from, and it's, it's usually used to sell something, mm -hmm. and that's why another reason I'm not going to be selling anything. Uh, so I have no bias and no angle, and it really is just uh, information I think is critical to know and understand. And I think by the time mainstream gets a hold of information, and I've been in practice 20 years, and it seems that it's a, always about a seven to 10 year lag time. So I think that people will be you know, pleasantly sort of surprised and intrigued by the information. And mm -hmm. I'll cover thing, everything from uh, exercise and how much and how often and what type and what's the minimal amount to nutrition and diet. I'll be distilling down the ketogenic diet, the paleo diet, the Mediterranean diet, and every other diet. And I'll talk about food allergies and the gluten yeah. issue. And yeah. I'll be talking a lot about thyroid function and cardiovascular disease and diabetes and cancer. And presenting, again, like all of the most current um, peer-reviewed medical literature pertaining to those topics. And most importantly, though, is I think that by the end, people who do the whole series 
uh, will understand how those things all connect and how there are root causes that you can take action upon and mitigate those, those, min those root causes. You can mitigate your risk of most diseases, certainly the diseases that are most common in our society. Right. So, yeah. Well, I will share with you, I know um, before I came to see you as a patient for the first time, I remember hearing it from d many different directions, from friends saying, have you been to his nutrition class? Yeah. Um, and so you do a phenomenal job of really engaging uh, folks that are there to, to really just want to take care of themselves in a very simplistic and natural way. Yeah, thank um, you. You're not trying to, um, well, this is one of the things that they shared, you know, we're not, they're not, he's not trying to get you, get 10 appointments for you yeah. um, lined up. He yeah. is, um, gen, you know, just uh, genuinely trying to make sure that he's educating the community that he yeah. lives in. Yeah. And so um, I hope that you yeah. see that because it's certainly being said in our well, community. I, I appreciate that. And, and, I, and I really appreciate it because I, that's been my endeavor my entire time in practice. It seems odd and it sounds strange. I think people don't believe it till they've been in. Mm -hmm. But my all of my efforts are to keep people from having to come in and see me. Yeah. And <laughs> and that that's an odd way to go about it. And I think that a lot of people in my profession, particularly, uh, are doing the opposite. And they're trying, you know, sort of the the aim is to keep people forever coming in as often as possible. That's why I have such a high number of patients. You know, we're right around twenty thousand patients mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in my career. So that comes from I'd rather see a whole lot of people very seldomly yeah. rather than just a small number of people all the time and, and that's this is why I do these these uh, seminars and why and you've seen yourself in the nutrition series mm -hmm. because it helps people to be healthy and to not have to see people like me or others mm -hmm. and to just you know there's there's no sort of silver bullet uh, of course there's no magical sort of panacea or, or cure for everything but there are really powerful things that we can do that are simple and safe and they, they dramatically reduce disease risk, especially mm -hmm. for the most common diseases. So, right. so I, and, I'm, and I'm not anti-medicine uh, like uh, at all, or anti-pharmaceutical, like a lot of people in my profession tend to be these right. days at least. Um, but it should be done judiciously, and mm -hmm. if there are things that can be done to prevent it, it makes sense to do that. It makes sense. If there are alternatives to mm -hmm. drugs and surgery, it makes sense to at least throw it out there and discuss it. Right. But uh, no, I, I really, um, uh, I've always had a, um, a good working relationship with with all kinds of physicians and all mm -hmm. kinds of fields and and the goal is not to uh, uh, again really kind of build my own practice or anything I really have been fortunate enough to have plenty of patients <laughs> and so uh, this is purely uh, an educational forum wonderful yeah. well let's talk about these seminars so yeah. fo um, folks who are interested in coming to learn more about this what if they want to focus on um, cardiac care or, or something in particular um, will you be able to eventually be able to have like maybe a list somewhere uh, that from the goals for paramount com will be listing the dates so they can certainly go to our um, page but also I'm assuming that we'll be able to list what the focus is on each one in the very near future yes and I'm glad you mentioned that that this series is different from all the ones I've done in the past where I've, I've specifically delineated topic by topic by each night in this case I'm not doing that until a little later on because uh, I'm not I'm gonna get through as much information as I can without being overwhelming mm -hmm. and I want to keep them to about a 90 minute time frame leave time for questions and answers right. and so on for those who have them so I'm not exactly sure when I'll hit those more specific disease topics okay but I think it's important uh, for people to know though if they have specific interests say in cardiovascular mm -hmm. disease risk or dementia or thyroid issues uh, the, the all the the first four or five uh, modules are fundamental to you all to, all of those you need conditions. That foundation. Yeah, it really is meant to be a complete series. That's one of the reasons I scheduled it approximately monthly. So gotcha. we're doing once a month for the next okay. nine months. That way, it's easier to schedule for folks. But um, but yeah, I, I really I'm really designing it to be a kind of a mosaic where I'll redundantly hit a bunch of those topics mm -hmm. throughout a lot of those modules. That said, uh, as I get closer to the end, probably by the fifth or sixth one. I will have a clear idea of what exactly I'll be talking about because I'll have a better idea of the pacing, the timing, and what I'm going to get through in each, okay. each evening. So uh, towards the end, we'll be able to put on the Paramount website uh, right. the specific upcoming topics and, and uh, for people that just want to kind of cherry pick it or if they just want to even just get a taste of it and see if they like what they hear and okay. how, I, how I present the information. Well, that's fabulous, but I would encourage our viewers to um, to be at every one of those, if at all possible, because it yeah. does sound like that foundation is going to help prepare you for the, maybe for the meat of what you're really wanting to get to as well. That makes sense, yeah. Yes. 
way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> Very yeah. good. So uh, it will be here at the Paramount Theater once a month. Um, the dates do vary, so I can't give you a specific date of every month. But I would encourage you to go to goldsboroughparamount.com. You'll also see um, our posters uh, here at the Paramount promoting these particular seminars, so you'll get more details. But you can find out more about that on our website, goldsboroughparamount.com. Dr. Wilding, thanks for being here. We look forward to having, for having you me. here, and we look forward to seeing you here in the audience. Thank you very much. Thank you.